Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Caroline. Um, if you've never been here before, I'm really glad you're joining in today. It's been a while since I've put out a video, but today I'm doing a speed painting of Avatar Lost Airbender characters in casual clothes. I interpret it and create it. Um, so the characters were selected from an Instagram um, questionnaire that I put out on my page. So i um, really excited to do this. I actually grew up watching Avatar The Last Airbender as it was airing on Nickelodeon. Um, the series started when I was still living in Okinawa, Japan, and it ended um, while I moved back to the US. Um, this was something actually that I watched with my whole family because it kind of speaks to all ages. You know, there's coming of age, there's war, questioning of principles, there's family drama, revenge, I don't know, you name it, this show has it. It's really aged really well. Um, and it's recently been added to Netflix and I believe it's in the top 10. So if you have a Netflix account or know someone who does that's willing to share, um, you're in for a real treat if you've never seen this series before. If you have watched it before, definitely can watch it again. I love to go through and pick out my favorite episodes and rewatch them. Like Ember Island Players, I've probably watched that episode the most and it cracks me up every time. <laughs> such a fun kind of recap episode done in such a unique way. So anyway, the first character that I'm working on is Zuko, as you can see. I chose neutral tones for him with kind of a beige trench coat and a gray sweater and dark gray shorts. Um, I also incorporated a color palette from Flame being red and a neon yellow. I think neon colors are very popular right now. Um, I only wanted to do a pop, that's why I kind of did that long fastener belt I felt was really trendy. I tried to do elements too that um, kind of nod to his character. So I have the flame pin on his coat and I have the flame drawn as a graphic on his shorts. I feel like graphic shorts and pants are really popular right now and they're a really fun way to kind of not make more exciting, but I feel like put together an outfit where you have a lot of basic pieces on. You have like that one graphic pop, which I think like pulls the outfit together. To me, outfits look really like like stylized, especially streetwear. When you see like a mixture of one layers in two like accessories, especially like personalized looking accessories, either kind of like showing like graphics or you know words, things like that to make it more dynamic. Um, so another accessory I'm adding into his piece is um, kind of like that side bag Ryan Prince on there, Prince Zuko, kind of obvious choices I'm making. <laughs> and then to his belt I added Honor. Um, I thought this was kind of funny but also it's really like, you know, key in his character in terms of like the whole development. I think that word is really centric. Um, so, oh, I forgot to mention, I actually once got to sit on a panel with Dante Bosco, um, who's the voice actor of Zuko. Really cool guy. Um, the next character that was chosen was Momo. I was inspired by the episode where Aang was paranoid and couldn't sleep, and he was dreaming of um, Momo and Appa talking and fighting. So I did like the top knot and him standing up, kind of inspired by that. I drew peaches on Momo's um, shirt as the graphic element because Momo means peach in Japanese, if you didn't know. Also the color palette, the kind of orangey pink color was inspired by peaches too. And I used a purplish blue to balance out that bright orange pink tone. Um, also gave a lot of accessories to Momo, like a low riding side bag, chunky sneakers of course, and those graphic elements on the button shirt and the side of Momo's shorts. Um, 
thought it was really fun and I finished it off with a quote from the series which is you my friend are I think a few plums short of a fruit pie <laughs> basically you're you're going crazy so I thought that was really funny um so the next character which I was really excited was requested is the cabbage merchant the cabbage merchant I think is one of the few side characters non main characters that's throughout the entire series and kind of travels along almost coincidentally with the avatar team this poor guy has his his livelihood the cabbages beat and bashed in every way even by the avatar um really this guy has really horrible luck it's it's like comedic relief though but it's kind of sad um so i have his peach he's not his peach i have his cabbage crushed up in front of him had to go all out with cabbages have the graphic tee the bucket hat this is cabbages and i'll add it to his pants later i pulled his color palette from his actual outfit in the series um kind of earthbender-esque in terms of color palette gave him the um fishing net vest to kind of add that layering and the bucket hat too for accessorizing um gave him nice sneakers and the chain belt for his pants i think that's really popular currently and of course he's screaming about his cabbages because you know the person who requested this that's what they wanted I'm, gi I'm giving the people what they want <laughs> um so the last character which i'm about to move on to of this series is actually not from the avatar lost airbender it's from legend of korra which is bolin bolin's an earthbender from republic city um, to me, he's the equivalent of Sokka. He's kind of the comedic relief. His brother reminds me of Zuko. He's very serious. <laughs> um, which, you know, does not, like, in terms... I think it balances out in terms of story, but in terms of sibling relationship, you know there's going to be times where they're not going to be seeing eye to eye since they kind of have different walks of life. His outfit ended up being my favorite. I really like the his color palette from the show, which I used in his outfit, more neutral, which is something I would wear more. Um, also, just the pieces I chose for this. I gave him a kind of opened up bomber jacket, a tee, gave him multiple chains with a rock on it as a nod to the Earthbender, um, a belt, and um, nice loose fitting straight jeans. I'll add a graphic element you'll see later and which was really cute is I got to draw his fire ferret um I also gave him colored sunglasses I think they're really popular um they kind of change his look a lot though I almost took them out but I decided to leave them in because I think it overall put the look together um but I'm telling you, I really went back and forth on that. It really almost did not make the cut for this outfit, especially once I color them. Um, the green color kind of looks off. I'm going to be really honest about Legend of Korra. I barely got past the first season of this show. Um, I think it was because, like, the first season they were in Republic City, I think, for that whole season. And I think the second season they started going out um so i think that's what made it drag for me and i felt like the characters felt like they relied too heavily on elements of other characters like to me it just wasn't a compelling enough story as the first one i think i didn't give enough of a chance though i think i should have pushed through the series I'm, i'll probably try to rewatch again um but the beginning though i don't know it just for me dragged <laughs> Maybe I feel differently now. I don't know. Um, so for his jeans, I put in the name of his bending team, the Fire Ferrets, named after his Fire Ferret. And I put a flame on there and Team Avatar. I think the flame is a little confusing when I was putting it on. So I was like, people are going to think I think he's a firebender. But the reason why I did it was a nod to the Fire Ferrets. I'll also add on here later um lava which is going to look more like a comet <laughs> and i did that because he's the lava bender um 
and I of course added a bag as an accessory, a nice side bag that has Republic City. I thought that was kind of cool looking, put the outfit together. Um, so yeah, so Bolin's the last one of the bunch. Um, I wanted to do some more casual Avatar Lost Airbender or Legend of Korra outfits. Um, I have been recommended Toph, so that will be one of the next batch. But if there are any other characters that you would like to see me draw, um, please go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know who you would like to see. Um, I'm excited to draw anyone just thinking about these outfits and kind of thinking about how to modernize them and pull from current fashion um, is super fun for me. So I'm really excited to see who you guys recommend. Thank you so much for watching. Check out more of my art at my Instagram handle KidMoth or check out my daily life at Curlin808. And I currently have a webtoons up called Des Apprentice and my creator name is Kid Moth. Bye guys!